OBD 11. That is it right over there in one small little block. <laughs> Just to give you guys quickly a heads up, apparently the white one is version 1. If you have got like a VAG car like I do, you got to make sure you get the VAG OBD one. Otherwise, if you get the version 2, apparently it's a black one. It looks a little bit bigger and is mostly compatible with most of the cars. So we're quickly going to check out this little tool today, see all the functions and stuff that it has, like a quick review. And uh, there's also a few things I want to activate on this. Well, for my car, obviously, I want to activate with this tool so let's quickly jump into the app and see exactly all the options that it gives us so this is going to be a quick read through so what we're going to do is we're going to connect first i just want to let you guys know to compare it against my previous video of the elm327 uh, tools this is so much better on the elm327 tool you must basically go to your bluetooth settings and pair with the device and put in a password go to your app and connect it to that paired device this thing just does everything for you. Just press connect, it picks it up and all of those kind of things. And voila, it will just automatically connect, which is just so much easier. So once you've connected to the car like we just did now, it shows you the battery voltage. It gives us massive scan bar, which you can actually obviously press. Do a full system scan. And if you go here to the bottom three lines in the blue circle, you actually can connect to so many control modules and have everything specifically checked out whatever you want to see and all those kind of things so what we're going to do is we're going to come here to the menu options and we're going to go to car so it's going to show us a bunch of information and stuff that we can do um, we're not going to go into everything i'm just going to do a quick uh, explanation of it so in the top we have got info info is literally just giving you some info of your car the history is what you have done on it so let's really go here in apps so yeah when i say the history is what you have done previously on the car uh, maybe you scanned your car, whatever the case is. So we're going to click on apps. And this is the awesome part. This is one of the parts or one of the things I like about OBD11. This is everything you can unlock for your car, right? Before you just scroll down through this massive list. This is pretty cool. This is driving. It's called driving school mode. So it shows you your speed on your center console cluster thingy, which is freaking awesome. I mean, like... Probably stupid, but I, <laughs> I love the idea. Even here, you've got your battery level display. So this is literally just telling you when your car is off, or let's say your car is not starting, your car is off, but your ignition is on, you can actually see what is the life, how good is your battery, if it's good or not. So I have previously um, made a video on how to do it on VCDS, but I mean, here is just a click of a button and boom, voila, it's there, you know, anyone can do it. And there's quite a couple of, options you have holding in a key how the car should lock unlock how the uh, sunroof must open and close your coming home and leaving home lights da, 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 da. there's a lot i want to show you guys this one quickly so in my car i've got the parking sensors in the back so this is pretty cool i mean like if i put my car in reverse this image will automatically pop up on the system cluster which will basically show you where is the object behind you? I mean, that is so cool. Also, one thing I want to tell you guys is if you look on the right hand side, you'll see 10C. That basically means you need like 10 credits to purchase it. So everything you can get it, but unfortunately you have to pay for it. But it's not a lot though. I think, I'm, I'm not sure converting it to dollars and all those kind of things, but it's really not that expensive. Then also a cool function is, is this retrofit. So this is, this is, for example, if you put in heat and mirrors, you can come and activate it here. Or even this cool one over here of the A4 front light retrofit. So that's basically if you go from the B8 light to the B8.5 light, let's say maybe you change the bumper, whatever the case is, you can go ahead and enable that. And here's even the shift pedals and etc. One that's also kind of interesting about this uh, tool is that you can do like small throttle body alignments when you change your oil. Your engine fan test, so if you are battling with your aircon and you can't get your fan to turn on, here you can just go and literally just activate it, test it, and see if your fan comes on or not. So yeah, there's a bunch of things like your oil service reset and service intervals and all those kind of things you can do. So going from apps, we can go to gauges. This is literally um, just for you to see maybe a few things on your car. For example, here's the accelerator position. So I'm going to step on it so my foot is not on it. If I push it in all the way. It should go to 90%. Doesn't want to do it now. Let's try again. There we go. 
going to 89%, 90% there. <laughs> okay, so yeah, you can just literally check a few things. Here's the battery battery voltage, 11.85 volts. Looking good. And yeah, so there's a bunch of things you can like scroll through and check it out and that. So over here, we've got the manuals next. Manuals is a little bit of a waste. It's just some stupid other manuals. Uh, probably not stupid for me, but not for other people. So it's not like literally manual of your car, how much you talk, everything, and all those kind of things. Just like random codes, long coding helper, just a few of these little basic things. Then we have got charts. Oh, sorry. We're not, we don't use charts. It doesn't look like there's anything we can do here. But um, we can go, we're going to go to control units. We're going to connect to the engine. So this is actually really cool. So you can do something uh, which is called data logging. Where you can basically... It's just trying to connect again. I don't know why it kicked me out. So it's basically where you like check your intake air temps. You just see how every sensor is reacting and all those kind of things. You can check all of those. You can even do, for example, output tests, which is kind of crazy. You can search info, faults, advanced identification, live data. For example, we can say ambient. I don't want that one. Let's see air temperature, intake air temperature, outside air temperature as an example. Okay. So then we're going to say, okay. And it's going to show us it's 21 degrees outside. But the intake air temp, so meaning under my bonnet, is 30 degrees. So you can see all of this kind of info. Pretty cool. And if we go back, we can actually go to output test. And for example, we can test our fuel injectors like a bunch of things. Our wastegate by bypass regulator and etc. So you can go in here and you can actually like just press the tick. And you will hear a clicking sound. And then you know, okay, that, that injector is working. You can try then injector number two, injector number three. And then one that doesn't click, you know, that's your problem. <laughs> so you can check all of those kind of things. Some additional security access stuff and charts and reset, readiness, history, backup. You can do backups. And you can basically go into all of these control modules and do a bunch of specific things, you know. Going back, you can then go to full backup and do a backup on your car. And there's a discussion section. So honestly, not a bad tool. That wraps it up for the OBD tool. We can place it right over there. Beautiful. Just balance. <laughs> I must say for this small tool that's always here in my armrest, thumbs up. I mean, we can do a lot. We don't really need the laptop even for this. This is just amazing on its own. It's a great device to have if you have a workshop to have it. Even if you're just a massive car enthusiast like I am. Really great tool. You can do a bunch of things on it. I prefer it much more above the ELM tool, the 327 one. One thing I must say about these ones, there is like options where let's turn the cluster off, uh, the car off. So there is options where you can like pay a yearly fee to unlock all of those great functions I showed you. And then there is the free version, but you can't do all of those crazy things. You can just basically do a couple of nice things. So just look into that to make sure it is something you want or not. Otherwise, great small tool, a tool that basically you should have. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think about it. Uh, if you think if it's worth what it is, I mean, just that small thing can do so much.